This, this is Shane, who we love, because he's the billionaire with the helicopter. You keep saying that. I'm not the billionaire. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still working on it. Still working on it. Work on it. I'm just a bag carrier. <coughs> but but now, we, now we're no longer in his helicopter. He's got to carry the bags. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know what I want really. I don't think I'll ever eat again. What's going on? Right, there you go, you have that one. Oh, well, this is the, it's, it's, we want this, don't we? Right, this, this, is, this is to say that, we, that you hosted us and we've been. Oh, so it's a certificate. Oh, yeah. that, like unfortunately, you've got to supply your own nail because although <laughs> Shane is a billionaire, oh, no. he wouldn't supply tonight. Actually, he said don't like nails. We're all upset last time somebody nailed something in the wall. Right. So we might have to arrange it. Yeah, Joe might get to nail. You know this is going to cost 350 quid. Yeah, it's 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 I'm going to do is to pay for this. Michaela, can we get a picture with you yeah. and the fab team? Yeah, I'm going to get a picture. Go, need a fab picture. Right, there we go. Where's the big red button? Yeah, that's the red button. Yeah, change the red button. Oh, we're ready Tuesday. <laughs> are we broadcasting live? Yes, we are. We're live. Okay, here we are. We're in Milton Keynes, where all the roads go that way and that way. And today, we've been in a helicopter. We've done everything in a helicopter. It ran perfectly to time. We're only running now 15 minutes late, which is not bad, but it was because we ended up in the, on the road that we've lost time in the traffic. Anyway, so here we are at Milton Keynes. Now, what have, what have you been doing for Chainsaw? Okay. Who's going to tell us about Chainsaw? Ah, Christine. This young Christine. lady would like to tell you about... Right. So, right, what have you been doing? So this is my poster. So for the end of my preceptorship year as a qualified nurse, I'd yeah. like to come up with an idea to help improve patient experience in the ED department. So I have come up with the That's idea... That's the emergency department That's for people who are watching who are not familiar with the nomenclature of the NHS. <laughs> <laughs> And so I've come up with a hug in a bag, which is a... A hug in a bag? Yeah. Wow, we fancy that, don't we? Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> mind a hug in a bag. Because Royce made change in a bag. Yeah, you are. Oh, you see, this, these are all original artworks that I've painted on oh, wow. paper bags. Oh. There you go, because you have change in a bag. Oh, thank so you. That's there we go. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, go on, we can't interrupt you. Yeah, so, right, so you've got a hug in a bag. So yep. it's a, a little pink comfort pack um, that we will give to um, women who present in the ED um, during miscarriage. So oh, it's, right. it's um, yeah. we'll pr include like things like pads, wipes, tissues, and a little disposable That's sacks. That's really very thoughtful. And then information. Why, why did you do that? Um, because I feel that in it's a very um, tough time for a lady yeah. um, and the emergency department is a bit of a scary, yeah. intimidating place where we tend to focus horrible on... horrible lighting like this. <laughs> we tend to focus on emergencies and um, it's just to provide that little bit of extra comfort and care for the lady. And was it an experience that when you were working here you thought, do you know what, that needs to be done? Um, yeah, it's just, um, just something I've observed from... Yeah. And you see, that is the lesson of change, because when we started out this morning, I started out at a big conference in Birmingham, and I said, I've been in the NHS since um, Florence Nightingale was a young boy uh, <laughs> coming to work on a bicycle, and uh, I said this morning that I've seen massive changes, effort, in big changes in the NHS. I've seen the Griffiths Report, which is before you were born, then we had the Thatcher Reforms when you were probably still at school, then we had the Labour Market Reforms, and then we've had just Andrew Lanz's lunacy that you don't have to say anything about, but I can because I think he's a pillock. Uh, but you are done, of course. It's very career limiting, you mustn't say that. Uh, but he is, and, he made, uh, and, and none of those changes work. But you see, something like this, what? We all now, uh, today we've reached over 2 million people on Twitter. And we will tell, people will see what you've done and they'll say, do you know what, that's a good idea. And look at all these people, they're all watching. They're all watching. And you see, not only all these people think it's a good idea, but everybody watching will think it's a good idea. And it is a good idea. And so what we're going to do is we're going to induct you into the Academy of Fabulousness. Oh, excellent. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
because, you know, seriously, we have a laugh about these kind of things, but it, it, real change comes from people doing the real job at the front line who know what the real problems are. So well done. Thank Christina, you so well done, Thank darling. You. Well done. Thank Thank you. You. Okay, what else have we got? Loads of stuff there. Jill, Come on, Jill. Quality Jill. Come on, Quality Jill. <laughs> Hello, hi. So, this is Quality Jill, everybody. Quality on, on, uh, on Twitter, she's Quality Jill. <laughs> it was one of those things. It's a good idea at the time, and then you stuck with it on you. But, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Quality, Quality is what you do when no one is looking. Quality do it all the time. All the time. So what we've got here is, I asked the staff in pathology, if there's one thing you could change, what would it be? So we got a whole array of ideas. Some of them little things, small things, some of them things that have been you know, bugging the guys for a while, something that hasn't been fixed that needs sorting. So what I want to do is then my pledge to them is I'm get these things sorted. So the little things that we can fix, we'll fix, we'll get sorted. We've got a good team around the hospital and we'll get that done. Um, and then the bigger things, if this is going to improve patient care and experience, if that needs a business case, then we'll write a business case and we'll look for support with that, um, which we've had really good success on this year so uh, yeah so lots of good things the first one that I got through was get the ladies toilets working so it's my little bit of uh, toilet it's pretty basic there. isn't it so yeah. you've got to get your basic needs right and right. you'll never get yourself get actualization yeah. um, but you know there's some of the bigger yeah. things in there it's it's around thinking about our workforce how we can work differently over seven days and, and these are all you see and when you ask the people at the front they, they don't ask for lavish or difficult things to do do they ask for you know practical Excellent. common sense yeah. things to do they don't say you know we need a billion quid extension or that they actually People are very sensible. And Roy, is, just to yeah. so let you know, Joe's watching on Periscope, I believe, from yeah, Marbella. From Marbella. Oh, yes. Hello, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you know when I was here last time uh, and a and &E was empty, uh, well, it's it's not tonight. <laughs> He's busy tonight. So although I gave you my best advice, didn't I? I gave you advice on what to do in A and E. I said sell half of it to Costa Coffee because I thought it would be a good income generation. That wasn't a good idea, Joe. Don't do that because it's like as busy as hell and you've got ambulances. You shouldn't have said that. No, no. <laughs> They're not really. No. 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 We're just trying to spoil your holiday because we're all fed up. We're in the cold in Milton Keynes and you're and your budgie smugglers. On the <laughs> so this puts you right off, doesn't it, Joy? Let's move on. What else is happening? Talk to farmers of an infected ward. Who's done this one? So um, this, actually, I haven't done myself, but this yeah. is a... Uh, a nurse and a junior doctor who recognise that the environment in some of the wards is very difficult for the patients. So they what, what do you mean by environment? Like the moving around type of environment? Or like? Just actually physically being in the environment. So yeah. if you look at some of these about um, not everybody out of the phones and the phones are ringing. Yeah. So it's about everybody Just taking responsibility. Busy, it? it is, but I think it's about not assuming it's somebody else's job to do it. Yeah. So actually what they've done, if you look that they will prioritise the sick patients for discharge. Um, they want to the, so the board rounds what they do in the morning, where they hand over all patients to have uninterrupted. Everyone's responsible for helping visitors. So rather than somebody coming in and say and, and they asking something, and people say, "Well, I don't know. It's not my patient. I don't know. I don't work." You here. get that a lot. We do. So it's it's not my patient. Yeah. I have to go and ask. Yes. So they're yeah. trying to change the culture there. So what do they do? Just make it up. No, they, they worked, <laughs> they, did, they, Sorry, <laughs> they, um, they did a lot of measuring about how long does it take to answer phones, how long does it take to, um, um, yeah, they sort of looked at the environment, asked a lot of people what they thought, and then they, they developed this together in collaboration with the team. Cause so what's the quiet time between one and two? Is that lunchtime? So that is, I don't want to say the word protected meal times, but it's a, yeah. it's a time for, for, to, to be uninterrupted. Yeah. 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 Well, that's very good, isn't it? I think and the phone is a good thing as well. Yeah, everybody's yeah. responsible to answer yeah. emergency buzzers. Yeah. Non work conversations away from And you're doing people. two rounds each day. Yeah. You still, do you do discharge on the rounds or do you have uh, are some, because in Frimley Park, fabulous Frimley Park, 
that we're going to. The second, the, the second best hospital in the country. <laughs> Joe's listening. <laughs> if Andrew Morris is listening, the first best hospital. In the but they, they have someone who does discharge. They have a, 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 a doctor who's empowered to discharge any time. They don't, have, don't wait for a round. No, so this is more about in the morning identifying yeah. and then prioritising those patients for discharge. Yeah. How do you, do you do discharge to assess? Yeah. What do you do to discharge? In what sense? Well, in, in, when getting people off, because quite often they hang about because of social services. Mm. Yeah, well, I think we struggle, like nationally, everybody struggles mm. really. Um, you know, outside of the hospital, sometimes that's the difficulty. Yeah. We've got quite a big discharge team mm. who come around do a lot of discharge assessment, fast tracking people that need um, carers in the yeah. community. Rolos, then. So, they? yeah, so we've got, yeah, ro Rolos, Rolos, they're called. Rolos. Rotational Would you give rent. your last Rolo to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and they That's were, great, yeah, yeah, so yeah. they champion that. That's very good. Yeah. And you've got your so, you had a good, now we've got some, some wheelchairs to look at, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. so. What are we going to do now? Mute. Okay, so. Um, Mark Yarrell, who's unfortunately not able to be here, but he's right. on Twitter, you know Mark. Yes, I do. Um, Hi Mark, if you're watching. Yeah. Hi Mark. <laughs> we sent um, an invite to the schools, local yes. schools, year sevens. I'm oh, not sorry, they age seven, but yeah. to year three. Yeah. And we said, could you design a wheelchair for a child, encompassing all the ideas of what they felt was important. So we had about 150 entrants. And we've narrowed it down to 10, which is really difficult. So we're going to ask you to do an even harder job oh, and narrow it down to three. Three, first, okay. Third, There's a story on the back. What the children have done yeah. is they've, they've written things on the back. They're right. all fabulous. They're all going to get My a certificate. Mm -hmm. They'll all get some recognition, but right. we'd like okay, to get we're going to, Okay, all we're going to do is we're going to stop broadcasting now. And we're going to do this. But how long? We haven't got long here, have we? We're okay. We've got 20, okay, Shane's, will help us, and uh, we will come back live with the winner of the wheelchair competition. Or the three, short or the, list the of top, three. The top, top three, three. yeah. yeah. And uh, if you're listening, Joe, mine's a sangria. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a minute.